Yo, real quick, it's Quest here. I'm live right now on my Twitch channel. If you guys have any questions about the build, I stream every single day over there. I'll catch you guys then. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. Peace, boys. Enjoy. All right, so headed over to our gear pieces now. We're going to be looking at our helmet here. Obviously, we need cooldown reduction. It's very important, if not one of the most important things on your rogue. Poison imbuement so we can get some more damage, maximum life, and total armor. Uh, I like to spec into all my builds with just armor and maximum life. It's super important. Uh, and when you get into higher levels and higher tiered nightmare dungeons on Rogue, you're going to see how important it really becomes. I've been looking at a lot of builds uh, on YouTube or on Twitch and just seeing people running Rogue. And they honestly have no idea what they're doing in terms of damage reduction and armor. It's like the key piece to actually living and doing high nightmare dungeon runs. And... This build is a little bit more on the fun side of things. Um, I wouldn't push too high up with Nightmare Dungeons with this build. I would say this is more of a fun build. So don't think this is going to be just the most insane DPS. I just found this very fun with my community over on Twitch. And I just wanted to show this off to you guys in case anybody else wanted to try it. I haven't seen many Reign of Arrow builds. So uh, for our aspect, we're going to be running our armor as well. And I'll be posting the build over on D4 builds down in the description if you just want to copy it off there as well. It's a little bit easier to keep up uh on our chest piece now we're going to be running chilled enemies poisoned by poison imbue we further chilled by 20 percent per second you deal 15 percent additional poison damage to frozen enemies so with our boots we're going to be freezing and chilling uh as well as running with our poison view so we're going to be doing so much damage you really just want to hoard enemies and get them all chilled use poison imbue and they're just going to just get destroyed also with our arrows You'll see how this all comes together and at the end of the uh, video here, I'll show you guys some gameplay and go over what I'm doing. I headed over to our gloves. We got Twisted Blades. So with this build, you do not have to run Twisting Blades. I'm just running it for the cooldowns. I'm actually not the biggest fan of Twisting Blades. I personally think it's boring, but it does unfortunately help a lot with cooldowns. Uh, you can run Flurry if you want. Uh, if you haven't checked out my Flurry vi video, you can just apply some of that into this video as well so here's a really important aspect i have critical strike chests by the way and decks on this as well uh, the aspect we're running is your marksman skills have up to a 10 percent chance to create an arrow storm at the enemy's location dealing 13 000 physical damage over three seconds and you can have up to five active arrow storms so having the five active arrow storms down this is procced off the lucky hit which i'm not a huge fan of but it procs a lot more than i thought it would so i kept it on and it's super fun just to mess around with this i haven't really seen like i said many reign of arrow builds and i mean i i really enjoy it i think it's amazing and the ad clearing is very efficient as well so headed over to our pants and you'll see me run this on a lot of builds these pants are insane. I think they're one of the best for Rogue. Uh, one of the best unique pants in the whole game. Just having that barrier up on your maximum life. And it lasts for 8 seconds. So there's also there's another aspect you can run that's very similar to this. It gives you a barrier up on elite kills. But I'm not too big of a fan of, those, uh, of that aspect because it has a cooldown. So I'd rather have that uh, last for 8 seconds but it's constantly redoing that eight seconds and you're just having that barrier up a little bit more um so if you can get your hands on these uh use them but if you can't use the other aspect that gives you the barrier on elite kills or elite damage now headed over to our boots here we're going to be running the greaves and these leave a trail behind of that chills enemies this is going to help with our chest piece aspect which is giving us that poison imbuement which equals damage on chilled enemies and it's just insane obviously i don't have this upgraded all the way right now because i just got a new pair i've gotten so many of these unique boots i just i don't know why this is like the only unique that really drops for me this consistently um but yeah these are a must and if you don't uh have these don't be alarmed you can use the double shadow step aspect which is in a unique if you want to replace this this just helps a lot more with the damage um now headed over to our crossbow here we got the twisting blades orbit you guys have probably seen this on many builds if you aren't planning on running twisted blades on this build and you want to run flurry instead run the flurry that uh aspect that does damage around all enemies that is probably the same equivalent as twisting blades one but like i said i'm running twisted blades for this build i hope flurry gets buffed i really do because i enjoy flurry a lot more it's just way more fun to me uh, headed over to our amulet now this is one of the key pieces of this build that kind of puts everything and glues it all together it's your reign of arrows is always imbued with all imbuements at once so all the imbuements on your reign of arrows 
it first of all it looks so cool and second of all it's super effective when you start combining all your your gear together and you're doing more damage to frozen enemies more damage you know you got shadow imbued enemies everything's exploding everything's frozen everything's poison so you're you're taking less damage which i'll go over on the skill tree as well it's really really cool and i haven't seen many builds with it as well like this is just one of the coolest amulets in the game for me um we're gonna be running our attack speed again attack speed is just insane uh you want that faster attack speed equals faster cooldowns i'll head it over to our third ring here your skill your imbuement skill effects have a 22 percent i wish i got a higher roll on this increased potency against vulnerable enemies so we're just going to be doing so much damage to everybody that's just imbued in the rain of arrows as well and just just the amount of potency is going to be insane and you'll see everything just explode and get destroyed so edit it over to our sword now you have a 16 percent increased critical strike chance against injured enemies and while you are healthy you gain 32 percent increased crowd control so this is really good for enemies getting frozen and getting slowed just keeping that duration and then you're just doing more critical strike chance i've been running this lately and it's insanely good i think it's one of the best aspects um and i hope to see this on more builds and obviously we're going to be running our attack speed unique i know some people in my other video were saying to try out the combo dagger and i have tried out a couple combo dagger uh builds but it seems like the builds i personally like to run include me getting more uh cooldown or faster cooldowns and that just this just helps with it i mean once i take this this dagger off and i try to play the game again on on rogue it just doesn't feel as fast and I don't know i think i like the faster animations rather than the more damage output because like i said you will do a lot of damage with the combo points but survivability is key and getting your abilities back is key and like i said once you get into the higher tier dungeons uh and like nightmare dungeons like 70s you'll start seeing that so uh anyways let's head over to our skill tree now um start from the top here we're gonna be running puncture again i want to make a build eventually with blade shift i think uh, blade shift could be really cool. I haven't really tried out the rest. I just don't think they're that great But a blade shift with movement could be really really cool I'll try to make a video on that So we're gonna be running puncture here and now headed over to our second like I said twisting blades This is the most important part if you want to run twisting blades do the cooldowns. That's the only reason I'm using it um, Until there's something else that allows me to get a faster cooldown. I'll be using I really think flurry is is the best core skill I will stand by that until i die that is the best core skill uh in my opinion but like just for the cooldowns where we'll be running uh twisted blades headed over to our close damage reduction here it is right here siphoning strikes so pretty much a, a little similar to my other build so if you just wanted to run flurry just boom boom i would recommend you run a vulnerable enemy and you're just gonna be doing a lot more damage you can try the stun um i actually it's not a bad perk if you got double evade but the vulnerable is just a little bit easier keep up with we're gonna be running shadow step as well um and they get stunned obviously and then we're gonna be running weapon mastery which is gonna give us the 15 percent critical strike damage on our crossbows bows swords and daggers this is a must in every single build i sometimes i've seen build videos and they don't for some weird reason they don't have weapon mastery um maxed out and it's just free damage so really strange um be careful with those videos don't trust them if they don't have weapon mastery upgraded uh we're gonna be running dash here and our critical strike damage for five seconds and then we're gonna be just running we're not gonna be running any subterfuge fills uh skills at all so we're gonna be running exploit malice of course um poison imbuement we're gonna have to run it and make sure you get the 75 percent increased poisoning damage and the reason i really have been loving poisoning damage lately it's been the uh well, this is the most important part so the deal 15 percent less damage it's my number one thing it's like taking less damage you're gonna hear it all the time if you come through all my streams it's just damage reduction damage reduction damage reduction it's so important on rogue some classes like druid you still have to worry about it but just not as much but rogue just doesn't scale up as well uh if you don't spec into everything with damage reduction so poisoning enemies you're just gonna get less damage dealt to you it's amazing uh attack speed and so you can get your cooldowns up faster when you have poison enemies and increase poisoning damage to help out with some of those clears uh you also want to run frigid finesse so this is going to help with those boots when you're freezing everything you're just going to be doing that extra 15 percent damage and you can also get them frozen when you use your rain of arrows which is just another 30 percent so like i said you're gonna you kind of see my old build being moved into this one which is really really cool how it worked out 
um now headed over here we're going to be running innervation and the reason i'm using the 30 percent chance to gain eight energy i normally don't but it helps a little bit more with getting those cooldowns back the more energy you're getting the more uses you have because we are going to be running preparation uh so that's going to be our specialization there um so you want to go to your specializations to make sure you have this on it's grayed out right now because i have a bug but preparation so headed back to our abilities here adrenaline rush just to have this on one and then three out of three on haste we want that increased movement speed and we want the uh increased attack speed as well obviously this is a rain of arrows build so you want rain of arrows and you're just gonna max this out get increased potency on it and then you're gonna want to get the second wave knocks down enemies because this is gonna help you a lot with clearing especially the high level nightmare dungeons Headed over now to our key passives. We're going to be running Momentum. And the reason I'm running it, I don't like, I really think Momentum is just one of the best, like, best key passives uh, on Rogue. And it's just survivability is insane. You get the 20% increased damage reduction, you get the 30% increased energy regen, and you get the 15% increased movement speed. Man. So you just get so much just to help with survivability. And increased re energy regeneration is going to help a lot as well. Um, now we'll move over to our Paragon board. I'm going to do that on the D4 website here and move over there. All right, now headed over to our Paragon board. Um, like I said, it's going to be all on this website. If you just want to copy it directly from there, um, we're going to be running our closer glyph headed up top here. We actually just want to grab the bounty node, the legendary node, and some of the stuff down here as well. Kind of skip over this board. You could go up here and grab this glyph socket, but I tried doing something a little bit different here. And going right for the combat and going into our next tree um you are obviously going to want to get your cheap shot so that's going to help with crowd controlling as well also bounty is insane too because you're going to be getting that 20 percent increased damage and 20 percent increased resistance for uh imbuement elements for six seconds which is just insane uh and like i said this is a lot of imbuements in this build since you're going to be getting those three from your reign of arrows as well then we got our exploit exploit is one of the best legendary nodes on rogue i'd definitely say top three so here's that as well and that's gonna be the end there so it's actually quite we're only using four boards here now i know some people have used five but i really wanted to start getting some of these like vulnerable damages and damages to elite as well so um also our socket here let's not forget that where is it where is it uh boom found it so control we're gonna deal 10 percent increased damage to slowed or chilled enemies and 20 percent increase so this is gonna help again but that's the additional bonus so make sure you're getting that that's gonna help again with our um crowd control and damage and then for five intelligence purchase within the range you're doing increased damage to crowd control targets so there it is there's your paragon board um if you guys have any questions about the build at all like i said try to take this build a little bit more light it's just something fun to try out and hopefully you guys enjoy it um if you did enjoy the video and the build leave a like come check me out on my twitch channel i stream every single day at twitch tv slash quest subscribe if you guys haven't already and i'll catch you guys over there thank you guys so much for hanging out and peace boys much love bye
Any more time. 